hi guys you are welcome to this youtube channel in today's video we are going to be making this beautiful style on the screen and it's going to be in two parts if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please do where to subscribe and let's get down to it god bless you so drafting on my pattern paper i'll be coming down half inch that will serve as my guideline but i'm going to make this into a straight line next i'll be taking the vertical measurement starting with six inches that will serve as the yoke line 10 inches that will serve as the the bust point and 15.5 as under bust and 17.5 as my waistline then I'll make that into a straight line then I'll come down 9 inches that will serve as my chest line then I'll mark my shoulder divided by 4 plus half inch and I also mark it down as well to serve as my arm over. then I came down 1 inch that will serve as my shoulder slope then I mark 3 inches for my neck width I also go up half inch this will serve as my shoulder seam allowance then I measure my ammo depth divided by 2 then I come down 1 inch come in 1 inch just watch what I'm doing in order for me to curve my ammo then I mark my ball circle divided by 4 my chest line plus 2 inches for size seam then I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect my ammo curve. You can see the way I'm connecting it. Then I measure my shoulder divided by 2. Mark the midpoint. Also my nipple divided by 2. Also mark it on my bust, on my waist and my under bust. Then I mark 1 inch on both sides of my, my waist. Then connect my dart leg. You can see the way I connect the dark leg coming down half inch from the bust. Then I'm take in half inch for my dart, then go at one and half inch. In total, that intake is two inches. Then I curve using my curving ruler to connect my dart leg. You can see the way I'm connecting the dart legs. Then on the yoke line, I'm going to be marking. 0.75 on both sides in total that intake is going to be one and a half inches then you can see the, i'm going to come down from the yoke line 0.25 on both sides you can see the way I, I came down then i'm going to connect this line in order to just give it a little curve right then my neck depth is going to be three inches then i connect it to my neck width The next thing I did, I measured my waist circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch to sew the dart plus 2 inches for sizing. They connect it straight up. So I did not take the dart intake that I added on the my yoke point. You can see that I did not take any dart there. Then I'm going to do my side bust by coming down from my bust points my bust line one inches and i'm just going to smooth all the sharp points just watch what i'm doing and you will get it so this is the front panel and it's ready so i'm going to cut this then go straight to the back panel so this is the back panel now i'm going to mark one and a half inches for my zip allowance connect it straight up then i'm going to do my back shaping i'm going to remove one inch can see what I'm doing, connect it straight up. Then I'll mark for my my vertical measurement. I'm going to mark my bust point and my waist point. Make all the lines straight. So I minus the one inch. That is this back panel will be short with one inch from the the front part right then i mark my my shoulder divided by two then also mark it to have my chest my arm line right so that's my chest line now i'm going to come down for my slope of one inch go up half inch to for my shoulder seam allowance then i'm just going to connect my slope line Then I'm also going to divide the shoulder by two. Then mark my nipple 
to nipple divided by two also connect it so this back panel too is going to be shoulder princess that right if that makes sense so i'm going to connect my dart using one one inch half inch on both sides of my waist then my neck depth is for the back is one inch then the neck width remains the same with the front my bust circumference divided by four is what i'm marking here plus two inches for sizing on my waist my waist circumference divided by four plus two inches for sizing and one inch for the dart intake then i'm just going to connect the line i'm also going to mark my ammo curve area so this is the back panel and it's also ready too so i'm just going to cut this out now and use it to cut on my fabric So I'm going to go ahead to cut this pattern on my fabric along with the lining and the stay. And here is it. And I add half inch up and also at the side to sew back all the panels together, right? Just look at what I'm doing here. This is for the front panel. So the way I'm placing it, that's how I'm going to go back to my sewing machine to sew it alongside the lining as well. I'm just going to use the half inch. Then this is the yoke for the front. Then for the back. You can see the way I also add half inch at the side, right? So I'm just going to also add half inch at the side of this too. So I'm going to sew the dark line part with the half inch that I add. So the the front the back panel is going to be having total of four pieces, right? So I'm just going to sew the dark part also the same thing to the line here as well so you can see the way i'm placing it that's how i'm going to sew it so i'll go back to my sewing machine then sew all these panels together then this is the skirt part i'm just going to show you a quick one on how i cut this is just a basic skirt right so my waist to my hip to the knee and to where i want that part of the two net to start from and where it will stop then my seam allowance that is what i did i cut it together with the lining so this is it now i have the front panel i've already joined the dark line you can see the inside and the outside so this is just the front part i'm going to sew it with half and it to join the up and the down part together then this is the lining this is also for the front i'm going to use cup bra cup to sew this that's why i did not add wording so you can see the way I'm going to place the bra cup on my lining, right? The both side, then sew it all round. That's the way I'm tracing it, that's how I'm going to sew it. So this now I've already sew it with half an inch, with half inch on the waist part. Then this is the yoke for the front. I'm just going to section it in a way that it will be in the middle part. Then I will sew it to with half inch to join it so you can see the way i'm placing all my panels together right just wash then i will place the lining now on on it right side face each other after the yoke then i'm going to sew it with half inch you can see the way i place it after which i will sew the damp part i'll drag it down remember that the lining is short than the fabric is then i will sew half inch then i'm also going to sew the side too the way i place it the way you are seeing it now right side face each other i'm also going to sew the side with half inch now this is it now i've already sewed it then i will place my velvet bias just to have that shape at the front part with my now this is you can see the way i'm placing it right 
then I'm just going to sew on both sides of the velvet right just watch what I'm doing here but to make this very easy for you you will do this method first before sewing the, the damp parts right so that means after joining the yoke so this is it now I've already sew it now I've sewn it this is the the wrong side so this is for the back I've also sewed the that then I'm just going to join the back panel together lining to lining fabric to fabric after which I will turn the neck and then turn the damp part now this is it I've also sewed the arm the shoulders to of the back to the front I'm just going to place the right side facing each other for the front and back and sew the side. You shape the side with the seam allowance, right? So this is practically the end of this video. I'm going to upload the next part of attaching the two neck to this dress in my next video. Please watch out for that. Please tell me what you think about this video. See you in my next one. If you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do where to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you so much, guys, for watching to this point. See you in my next one. Bye.